so I'm gonna make this gear, the blue gear. I will make it in aluminium, sun casting the same as the one below that I made uh, before in another video. It's a automatic injection molding machine that I'm working on. So I'll take off the gear and uh, make it in aluminium. I, I will have to send this because as you can see there is a small problem with the 3D printer that happened and there is this small moved edge here and uh, when I will try to take it off from the sand this part will block and it will destroy my mold so I need to send down each of these slowly till it's smooth So here the difficult part is to take take it off. What I do is that I use, for example, here it's a eight millimeter hole. So I will try to use eight millimeter threaded rod. So I try to put it, in, but here, for example, there's some sand inside. So take off the sand. Better to be in a clean place to work. The sand is a bit dry, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's see. Bit on the side, slowly on each side to free to make a little space between the gear here in, in between the 3D pr printed part or the part you want to make and the sand you need a, a little space No, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work. Here, it glued to the part because it's not uh, smooth. Mm. Yeah, you can see there is these small dots, and it's holding to the sand and my sand lack of humidity so I'll make it more humid and try again so I sanded a bit around here and a bit more on the part itself so second try I really like to clean the edges so when you put the other part so that there is no space in between because it happened well at least with this one I think yeah here it's it's burned because the aluminum leaked out so I opened fast to not uh, burn the whole the whole casing so I try to always clean around now here 
and when I had the second half of the mold when the, I took off the part I put a lot of pressure so I'm sure that it's really like in contact and not leaving any space that can make the aluminum go out for me it's really like something important to to do because uh, when aluminum go out it's a, it's a disaster it, it burn your your casing and uh, you can burn yourself too so. nothing really good Here it looks better, I'm not sure if it will go out well, but it looks better. Okay. Okay, it's not perfect. It's fine. quite okay, there is some part here that is off but it will be more sanding so it's not a big problem it was yeah it's really like the, the big problem with this is the edge that was failed and it's making a small small groove, I think it's the opposite of a groove, a, a bump it's a small bump so it's not good but it will do the job so now injection port so here as the gear is bigger I'm really close to the to the gear so it's good but at the same time it's bad because I need to go on the edge here so the aluminum can leak out so I'll make sure that I'll put a lot of pressure Here I apply a lot of pressure on the side and I push down to make sure that the sand is really in contact with each other so that there is no leak. Normally it should be fine now. So the result is quite good. You can even see the line of the 3D print part. You can see it everywhere. With a bit of sanding and yeah, I need to clean here and with a bit of sanding it will be a nice gear just a small tips I know that most of the people that sand cast the part that was really close to the, to the aluminium they throw it they just don't use it anymore and me what I do is that I put it in the filter it's a very thin mesh and uh, fine mesh and I and I move it around and I make it pass through and then I add humidity a bit of water and that's it I'm doing this always and this is the one that was not in contact with the with the aluminium part this one is with contact I'll put it here and I will shake it pass it by the by the filter and then that's it just add humidity if it's needed so you don't need to make uh, my green sand last forever pretty much I just lose I just lose a bit on the floor and that's it
than to store it. I just put the plastic on top with all my cast. Let's uh, this with all my sand casting equipment, and that's it. So to make sure it's flat, I will use the lathe and I will flat this part. This one is fine, this one isn't really flat, so I'll use the lathe. Okay, here there is a small imperfection, but it's fine. If I go deeper, I could uh, take it off, but it's fine. Here to make the hole because there is no hole in the in this part. I align the two together like this. I need something to close here. So it's going perfectly in the stepper. It's going nice. The only place where it's holding a bit it's resisting, it's not from the gear, it's from my system, but I'm fixing it right now. I will fix it right now. There is a tiny play. Okay, but it's fine. It's it's even good. It's better like this when touching too much each other and blocking. So now I need to drill a hole here and pass an axis in inside here that will cross in the middle. I already have the hole here on the Nema 23. So yeah, it's a success. This part is good. Soon it will be completely aluminium. So this part is in plastic, it will be aluminium too. I will machine it with my CNC. Uh, same for the bearing holder here. So it will be kind of indestructible. If you want to see what will be next, you can check my, my channel. I, Upload often now. 